beer tubers. Today I'm going to be starting off an unofficial series of dark beers, and it's nothing like I'm trying to do like Imperial IPA Week or or like Barley Wine Month. You know, n nothing like that. It's well, I mean, first of all, I like dark beers, so that's good. Second reason, I have a bunch of beers in my beer closet that's just sitting there. I have some of them from Scotland, which was what like many months ago. And I figure I should be getting rid of those instead of going out and buying more beer. But you know how it goes. <laughs> Anyways, I think it's also appropriate too. I'm, you know, wearing a slick black shirt, dark sunglasses. So today I'm going to be blogging about a beer by Anderson Valley, which is a local brewery in uh, Mendocino County, Cal uh, California. It's not too far from San Francisco here, and it's their Deep Ender's Dark Porter. And this is 5.5% ABV which is a good amount of alcohol, uh, as porters, as well as stouts traditionally, aren't too high in ABV. Because uh, a lot of the beers, these beers uh, originated from the UK, mainly England, and what, what, what they did was, uh, it, just in general, their beers aren't too high in uh, alcohol percentage. So it says here that this is a medium-bodied porter, uh, some creamy head, and bitter end. I didn't really read it too much because, you know, it depends on the, you know, it's better to rely on the taste. Um, so, anyways, Anderson Valley, a very good brewery. I remember after my first Imperial IPA experience with Speakeasy's Double Daddy, I was just like, oh, <laughs> that sucker was so strong. And after that, my next Imperial IPA that I tried was by them, Anderson Valley. And that was the first Imperial IPA that I enjoyed. I haven't had it since, which I think has been about two years. I really should try it again. But I remember it being very good. I enjoyed it a lot. And from then on, Imperial IPAs are is like number either number one or number two on my list of favorite styles. So anyways, I haven't had their porter yet, so I figure I would buy it, even though I have plenty of beer in the closet. Um, and uh, also, um, just something to put uh, check off on my beer count list, which with this is probably going to be what 600, close to 680 beers. So here we go. It's closer to room temperature, which is nice. You could kind of see through it. It's like a really dark purple kind of color through it, and mostly red. Um, I could smell the roasted malts in it already, but as we see here, it does have a pseudo creamy, foamy head. It's not as foamy as you would see in uh, UK beers. Um, mm, yeah, it actually has a slightly, uh, not, I guess, sort of a dark fruit kind of smell. But it's mostly roasted coffee that's sweet. I mean, it has sweetness in it and uh, roasted coffee. Um, so yeah, it's not too cold now since it's been sitting out here and I kept messing up my videos, so, you know, bloopers. I would say like AVB instead of ABV, you know, stuff like that. I know you guys do that, you know. I'm just being honest here, just being straight up with you. Okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and dive in. So, come fight. Oh, wow. Definitely, a, um, at most, it's a medium-bodied porter. Uh, then, then again, I mean, porters aren't as thick as stouts, so... I guess for a porter it is medium body. Um, it has quite a bit of sweetness throughout, right? from the middle onto the end. I mean, it's almost like, I and mean, this is not a bash against them, but it's almost like a homebrew. You know, if some of you brewers may know, like in a homebrew, maybe from the malt extract, whatnot, uh, you get some of the sweetness throughout. And you know, maybe that's what I was smelling when I thought it was fruit. It's just sweet coffee. That's what it smells like, as well as tastes like a bit. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's quite light, actually. I, I, maybe medium body would be a bit much. Um, it's, it's quite light. Um, let's see here. Right, it says that it's for maximum flavor, 40 to 45 degrees Fahrenheit. So, yeah, maybe I, I'm having it a bit warm than, than I, I should. Still tastes good. I mean... 
I would say overall, this this porter it, it's it's all right. I mean, I'd give it like a I'm being strict and all, like maybe a, a B minus, which doesn't make it bad at all. I mean, for those of you that want to venture out and try some darker beers, maybe this is a good one to start, especially if you like sweetness. I mean, there's there's some sweetness to the body. It's very light. Um, it's, it's not... the carbonation, uh, it's smooth. It's very smooth, so it's not going to be like those bubbly lagers that some of you may be used to. But it's good, though. Uh, it's, it's not bad. 5.5%. I mean, you could get down a bomber, no problem. A bomber is the 22-ounce bottles. So, anyways, this was Anderson Valley's Deep Ender's Dark Porter. Um, I give it about, you know, it's, it's like a, um, like a good beer, as Jay would say. <laughs> I think, I think that's the, the best, best way to describe it. So, anyways, thanks guys for watching, uh, and thanks for checking out my Beerichi Tuba channel, which is new from, apart from Yuichi Tuba. So, I guess I'll see you guys in another beer blog or a dark beer blog, and I'll see you guys again. Alright, thanks for watching. Come fight.